What up, everybody? It's your boy, the Lord Fridge Digger. Yeah, I changed my name, nigga. So what? So I know I'll just play. It's your boy, Cool, aka that cool black guy, aka Lord Fridge Digger, aka Mr. Excited to be playing such a fucking fantastic game. That fucking Gears of War 3, finally. This is my first uh, multiplayer game on the full version release this is, this is not beta footage obviously this map wasn't in the beta so i figured i'd just bring y'all my very first match um i am i am at like level four or three or something like that from playing beast mode and horde mode at this point but uh I, it's kind of good that you could rake up from uh, other stuff besides just multiplayer for um people that you know they want to rank up you, and you could tell that this is like the first time for a lot of people just by the dumb shit that we do in this match so this match did take a little bit uh a lot of a little, 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 little can't fucking talk it did kind of take a long time because nobody knew where we were going we were all trying to get the hang of it everybody's playing defensive especially on the other team so uh right now i guess it would be a good time to talk about my first impressions on the multiplayer aspect of the game so let me jump right into it. You see, I'm adjusting my controllers. I'm trying to get used to my sensitivities, figure out what the fuck I want to be at and shit like that. So, um, multiplayer aspect. It is somewhat the same as Gears 2, but there, there's different things that you got to keep in mind when you're playing. One is that people play way more defensive in Gears of War 3 because of, uh, you know, the assault rights. Right, why can I not fucking talk today? Assault rifles are a lot stronger on Gears of War 3 than uh, Gears 2, and you see a, a lot of people using them more, so you can't really run around with the Nasher a lot. Like, people, you, you used to just be able to pull out the Nasher and just fucking play the entire day of multiplayer with the Nasher on Gears of War 3. You can't really, or Gears 2, fuck. You can't really do that on Gears 3 because... Uh, you got things like the sawed off, you got shit like the retro lancer, and then people just sit around the corners and wait for you to run, you know, around that little camping area, and then they use a the sawed off. I can't even play King of the Hill. King of the Hill is fucked up. It's just nonstop sawed off after sawed off after sawed off. You get like your group of teammates, and look at this bitch. See, just sitting there hiding. What the fuck? Like you could tell what you could tell what people got Call of Duty. You could tell Call of Duty players are on this shit. So um, you can you have to play defensive. Like every time I go around a corner, I learn to start checking my corners because I'm scared of little sawed off bitches gonna be sitting there waiting. You see right there, I got the welcome to versus achievement for uh, finally jumping into the versus mode of the game. So you gotta check your corners, man. I would suggest you know. Playing defensive, even when you want to play aggressive, do it defensively if that makes sense. You can be aggressive and defensive at the same time. Watch your corners a lot. Anytime you go into a room, expect somebody to be sitting at the doorways. And I always assume that any person that's running towards me has a sawed off. Because, you know, if I go one on one with somebody with a Nash, right? nine times out of ten, I'm gonna fuck them up. But if they got a sawed off, man. Uh, it, it, it might be game over for me, man. It, the sawed off is. I g thought they said they was nerfing it or something, but to me, it's still the same. Uh, it, it still need to be toned down a little bit. I think they need to come up with a classic mode where there's no retro lancer and there's no sawed off shotgun and just let people, you know, uh, get the feel for how gears used to be. So uh, I, I really think a saw. Uh, God damn! I really think a classic playlist. Would be good to uh, even things out, get a little bit of stress out of the way for people that's learning to play the game. And it's not a bad game. It's not um, that anything is wrong with it. It's just you know the way that people play shit. That's how it is with every game. People find exploits or find the easiest way to to do anything, and they just take advantage of it completely. And I got like this fucking OCD of always trying to pick up ammo even when I don't need it. And that shit got me killed a few times. So, um, yeah, what are y'all thoughts on the on the multiplayer so far? I'm hoping y'all like it. Um, you know, I'm hoping y'all like and, uh, I, I'm really, I just woke up, so I'm, cannot fucking talk straight at all. So, um, 
I'm hoping that y'all like watching Gears of War 3 multiplayer gameplay. This shit is 20 times more fun to watch for me than it is for Call of Duty. The one, another thing you gotta watch out for is people, your teammates, they will steal the fuck out of your kills. And it's bad because Gears of War 2 didn't used to be that bad. Like, people knew, like, oh, I just downed that dude, you know, I, 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 I should stay away if somebody else downed him. Not on this shit, man. And I, I'm blaming everything on the COD players because I know a lot of people wasn't on Gears of War 2. They was playing Call of Duty and Modern Warfare and Black Ops and shit like that. So, you know, we didn't have to go through people stealing kills the way that we do on here. So I'm blaming it on the Call of Duty players. I know a lot of y'all just got this game and don't know what the fuck is going on. But do not steal. Nobody kills, man. That's, that's, that's just wrong. It's just wrong, goddammit. Um, so, you know, if, if it is not your down, don't try to take that kill. Unless the person who downed them got killed, then, you know, go ahead and take that kill. Or if they far as hell away, then go ahead and take that kill from them. But for the most part, it's been a lot of fun. Minus King of the Hill. Wingman is fun as shit. You, just, Like I said, you just got to watch out for those sawed-off shotguns. I'm thinking about making a little guide video on how to deal with people that use the sawed-off because... A lot of people are complaining, saying, you know, the saw off is, fuck, is fucking the game up. And really, it is in a way, matches like King of the Hill is really hard to uh, anticipate when somebody's using a saw off because they just can't the uh, objective. But, I don't know, it just makes it a lot easier for us. So, I, I play Team Deathmatch. You can't really play Warzone or Execution either because, like I said, the saw off people just can't. So, Team Deathmatch and Wingman are kind of what you're limited to. Um... So, I don't know, I'm thinking about doing a guide for um, a multiplayer guide and a guide on how to deal with people with sawed-offs. Thinking of doing those two. Um, but other than that, y'all need to get your asses on this game. Uh, my Twitter followers, you know, I made a new, I, I got another account for Strictly for people that have Gears of War 3 and follow me on Twitter. So, you know, if you want to play with me on Gears 3, you just got to follow me on Twitter, hit me up on there. And, um, you know, I'll add you. I still got some space on the account. And, um, you know, I'm playing with subs as much as I can. I had a nice little gaming session last night with subs. Beat the shit out of a bunch of people. And don't get over, uh, don't feel overestimated because you see, like, a team of high, uh, ranks. Like, we were, my team, the highest person on our team was 15. And the lowest rank on the other team was 28, I think it was. So it was 28 and up on their team. And, and you know, my teammates were like, man, we're about, we about to get our asses whooped. Oh, these, these motherfuckers know how to play this shit. Like, man, come on, dog. All you got to do is know. You just, it's not like Call of Duty. So you do the right things, you got to whoop people's asses regardless. So we ended up beating the fuck out of them. Because all they were trying to do was sit back and Lancer. And... An entire team sitting back in Lancer, and you really didn't never see that shit on Gears of War 2. So, when people are doing that shit, you know, you just play defensive, take your time. Uh, if you got to use a sawed off, I don't, I don't mind when people use a sawed off. It really doesn't bother me unless it's King of the Hill. But if you gotta, if you gotta use a sawed off, a good time to use it would be against a team that's just sitting back in Lancer and then sitting back and using the hammer burst, cause they just playing like some pussy. So take that shit to their face. Get up, use your cover, you know, as much as you can so you can bring the fight close to them and then just fuck them up with the sawed off. It's just that simple. And, uh, you know, they deserve to get their asses shot up by sawed offs if they want to play like pussy. So I say, you know, pull out the sawed off and fuck their asses up. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So, uh, right now I'm still trying to finish up the campaign mode. Campaign mode has been fucking crazy. Uh, a lot of, like, crazy boss fights. A uh, couple surprises. I, I don't want to spoil nothing, but a couple storyline surprises. And I'm not even. Uh, I'm what, midway through Act Four, and it's already some crazy shit going on. I think there's five acts, so I'm gonna try to hopefully, hopefully finish it today. Um, and uh, hopefully, you guys have played Gears One and Two. There's like a little movie type thing at the beginning of the game that, and, and a little bit. A little bit of telling what the story is about, but it doesn't, it don't really go in depth. So it's kind of like a quick little, 
you know recap of the story to this point but I would suggest like watching YouTube videos on uh, the Gears 1 and Gears 2 storyline because there's a lot of shit that went on in both of the campaigns that were really good uh, so I would suggest checking them out before you jump into the campaign on here and um, yeah I was fucking dumb I should have saw that coming from a mile away so um, anyways I hope y'all liked the video go ahead and like I said give it a like Trying to get this Gears of War thing moving. Check out the Havoc Clan if y'all didn't. Or the Havoc Gang. Um, link is going to be in the description for the Havoc Gang. You know, I'm going to be posting some videos on there. If y'all, I know some of y'all saw the promo and was like, are you in the Havoc Gang or not? I am in it. So um, I'll, go in, I'll go a little bit more in depth on that in another video. Peace.